Hi, this is Jen Lasser with Adobe Analytics Product Management. In this video, I'm going to walk you through our NCAA men's basketball dataset and project that we've loaded into Adobe Analytics with the help of Sport Radar. When you first land on the Hack the Bracket landing page, you'll be able to scroll down the page and compare two teams across a set of metrics that we've predefined to determine who is going to beat who in the tournament. If you want to dive further into your team analysis and fill out your bracket with more metrics that we have available in Adobe Analytics, we're going to be giving you a free login to our tool analysis workspace to help you fill out your bracket. By clicking Try Adobe Analytics, you'll be given a login and password, and you can type those into Adobe Analytics and get access to the project that I'm going to show you now. When you first land in the project, you'll be welcomed and you'll have an initial panel where we'll let you start doing your analysis. Now, if you've used Analysis Workspace before, we put a link in here to a more advanced project that you can skip to. This landing project is meant for new users to Adobe Analytics. So let's go ahead and dive in and, and look through the analysis that you can do within Analysis Workspace. The first step that we've outlined here is to have you add teams to the table on the right. You can find team over on the left rail of components under dimensions. Drag team over to the table and drop it anywhere you see the highlighted area. Now we're looking at teams with the metrics of wins, losses, points per game, and opposing points per game. The tips that we outlined here are control Z so you can at any point in your project work you can hit control Z and undo the last action that you've done. You can sort by any of the metric columns by hovering over this second row here and you'll see an arrow so if you want to sort by points per game you can do that. And you can also see a longer list of teams by extending the rows that you see here from 10 to anything else that you'd like. Additionally, you can look for a specific team by clicking the filter here and typing in the team you're looking for and hitting apply. And we'll find all the teams with the word that you just searched for. So let's move on to the next step. And that is adding more metrics to your analysis. So we started with wins, losses, points per game, and opposing points per game. But if there are additional metrics that you want to add in, uh, you can certainly do that as well. Metrics are on the left rail under the metrics column, and you can drag over any new metric that you'd like. The tip that we have here is that if you click metrics, you'll be able to see many more metrics that are available in Adobe Analytics, and you can drag over as many as you'd like. So now we can see how many blocks each team had, how many games played during the season. So let's move on to step three now that you've added both a dimension and a metric. Step three allows you to break down the teams by the players that are on the team. To break down a team you want to look for the dimension of player and then drag that over and drop it on top of any team that you're interested in. So let's do Oklahoma players. So by dropping the player on top of Oklahoma, we can now see the players on that team and all of the statistics for that particular player. So Trey Young has played 29 games, uh, averaged 35 minutes per game, 28 points per game, and 3.9 rebounds. So let's move on to the next step here. Just going to remove that and we'll move down. Step four is a, 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 the ability to add segments on top of your data set. Segments are a way to split metrics or dimensions into two or more separate groups. So let's say you wanted to look at field goal percentage for teams when they're home versus away. We can do this with segmentation. So segments are on the left rail underneath the segments header here. First we'll bring over home site and we'll put it right under the metric. Keep an eye out for those black brackets that will show you where you're going to drop the segment. 
So now we can see field goal percentage when these teams are at home. And we can also bring over away or neutral site to look at home versus away field goal percentages. And this is something you can do for any of the metrics that you see here or any other metrics you want to add in. So let's go to the final step, and that is the ability to add in a graph on top of this data. So not only in Analysis Workspace can you add tables to your project, you can also bring in visualizations as well. The visualization options are on the far left underneath the graph icon here. And you'll see you have quite a few different options. We're going to keep it simple and we'll drag in a bar into the middle here. It'll make space wherever you want to put it, so you can just drag it in and drop it. So this graph is charting the teams that we were looking at for the different metrics we've pulled in. The tip that's outlined here is that you can change what the graph is showing, if you'd like, by clicking this top dot and changing the table that it is sourcing. These are the titles of each of your tables. So let's go ahead and change this to step five, and that will show us the conferences winning percentage points per game and attendance per game that we had in this final table. You can further interact with graphs in Workspace by turning the legends on and off so that you can see each value more clearly. So that's it. Um, you've just added dimensions, metrics, breakdowns, segments, and visualizations to a project and analysis workspace in five simple steps. So great job. If you're ready to do more analysis, we've built out a few extra views and projects for you. You can look at team by team matchups with data that was on the landing page. From here, you can bring over additional metrics if you'd like into this table by simply dragging over and dropping a new metric. You can also replace the teams that are being compared by finding team on the left rail opening up the dimension, and then searching for a team that is important to you. So we'll drag over Illinois here. You drop it on top of one of the existing teams, and it will replace it. And you can do that as many times as you'd like. Additionally, you don't just have to compare two teams. So if you want to even bring in one more team, you can certainly do that, um, as many as you can fit on the screen. So that's another place that you can explore and pull some data to help fill out your bracket. Um, finally, we created another project that has some more advanced basketball analytics if you're interested in that. So you'll just click this link and it will launch into a new project that you'll also have access to where you can do your own analysis from scratch by dragging and dropping things from the left rail over or you can open up a deeper team analysis with some more statistics pulled in here and um, continue to drill down on, on different teams that you want to explore further. So hope you found that this walkthrough helpful and get a lot of use out of the Adobe Analytics College Basketball data set and projects that we built for you. Good luck everybody!